Hello everybody. I would like to talk about what I'm putting in my care packages this year for the Pacific Crest Trail. Um, I would like to start out by saying thank you to the community of people that have helped me get where I am today. I would be completely lost if it wasn't for a few things, a couple people I work with, Yogi's guidebook obviously, and just the huge community of people online who have literally offered me so much constructive criticism and realize that there's no right or wrong way to do anything and everybody's at different skill levels and I really appreciate that mentality. Um, the, most of the hikers that are doing it this year I feel are very unrighteous and very they listen and they give really good criticism. So thank you to everybody and uh, let's get started. So this is the wall of care packages that I have there's going to be, for me, there's going to be 21. Some people do way less, some people do more. Um, I'm trying to get about 3,500 calories into each one, maybe a little bit more. I'm kind of skinny and I don't want to lose any more weight. So each one of these is stuffed with food and other goodies that I have meticulously planned out. Let's open one up, shall we? So here is box number five, which I'm going to be sending to Kennedy Meadows, which is a 103 mile hike till my next care package. And I've planned myself seven days worth of food. And I would like to go through the list of food with you guys so you can see kind of what I put in it. So for breakfast, I have seven days worth of breakfast lined right up. I have things like grape nuts with a little brown sugar, powdered milk, and a whatever those little little deadly uh, cinnabuns are called. I can't remember what they're called off the top of my head. I also have some vanilla almond granola with some pop tarts that are huge in calories. They're 410 calories for a two. Unfortunately, they're not that healthy for you. I also have oatmeal. So those are my three options for breakfast. Um, they give me together, it's about 800 calories on average. So I'll start my day off with 800 calories. Next up is dinner. I have seven dinners lined up. And what I've done is I have Noor packets, Idaho and loaded baked potatoes. These are like either rice and noodles or pasta. I mean, <laughs> sorry, rice, pasta, whatever. I have turkey stuffing. I have top ramen. And with each meal, I'm also going to be putting a meat. So like with the stroganoff, I like tuna. Um, possibly with the broccoli and cheddar, I like tuna too. But I also have dehydrated a bunch of sausage and ham in certain care packages that I'm going to put half a cup to add an extra couple hundred calories, 200, 300 calories to each meal. Then I go into snacks. Every day I have either a Snickers or a Cliff Bar. That's about 250 calories each. I have, I hate peanut butter. Every single hiker brings peanut butter. It stays in my mouth forever and I can't digest it. But I did find something that I can handle and that's this uh, Jif salted caramel hazelnut spread. It has a tiny bit more calories than peanut butter even. So two tablespoons, you get 230 calories. I love this stuff. It tastes really good. Maybe a little sweeter than peanut butter. I might pay a price there. I have one ounce of jerky per day that I have vacuum sealed. I have a portion of M&Ms per day. I have a portion of licorice per day. And I have a portion of peanut butter pretzels. And in some care packages I have uh, a gorp, which is just a mixture of berries and nuts and what, what nuts. I also have a few extra snacks here, a couple foot longs, in case I want a little extra each day. I also add a little bit of veggies to my uh, meals. It doesn't give me much calories, but it gives a little variety. Um, <clears throat> I also have 
toilet paper, I use uh, Cottonelle Fresh Care Kleenex wipes. Um, I'm also going to have a little toilet paper for blowing my nose and whatnot. Each care package has a little Tide packet, which uh, if I'm doing laundry in a bathtub at a hotel, this will come in handy. I'm going to be packing some batteries in a lot of them. And probably every other one through the desert, I'll have some sunscreen. I love socks, fresh socks. Put socks in your care packages. That is a necessity for me. I have, uh, on Steep and Cheap, I bought a bunch of merino wool socks and a bunch of smart wool socks. I have almost a pair of socks per every care package. On the two mile, on the two day care packages, I don't have a pair of socks in, but like the seven, eight dares, definitely put a pair of fresh socks. I also have some Purell um, for cleaning my hands. I'm gonna probably go through a lot of that. And uh, probably put this in my uh, first aid kit, but it's Gold Bond um, Aloe in case I get blisters or anything. That'll help moisturize. So that is my care package. I would also like to say, kind of, give you a few tips as to what else I'm doing. I'm going to be taking these out of this packaging and putting them in Ziploc bags. Because the reason for that is, A, these will last over a year. All this stuff will last over a year. Well, not the tuna, but all the dried dinners will last over a year. No problem. I work in a, I, I'm a sous chef in a store, and whenever we open any freeze dried or dehydrated dried fruits, dried nuts, dried anything like oatmeal, like these can come out of the package, it has a year expiration. And we get literally health inspected by several different companies, and a year is what they give you. So I'm not going to mess with having all this extra wrapping. I'm going to put everything in Ziploc bags, and you're like, well, Ziplocs also are extra packaging. Why would you carry Ziplocs if you don't want these? Because I'm not going to cook in my stove. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take, first of all, I'm probably going to, this is for me and my girlfriend. It's a little bulky. Probably shrink it down a little bit, get a titanium one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to boil water in my jet boil. Then I'm going to take my food. Sorry. Second. So I take the cap off my jet boil, off the bottom of my jet boil. I put my food in the Ziploc bag. I pour the boiling water in the Ziploc bag and I eat my food out of it. That way I just have this for waste. If I were to do it the other way, I would have this for waste and this for waste. And nobody wants to be walking out of a mountain with all this garbage. Um, also, these are BPA free. Ziploc is BPA free, so you can boil water in it. I've tested it a million times. They, I'll have extra Ziplocs in case they do spring a hole in one. But if you put boiling water in it, they don't melt. I don't, I don't know how that's possible, but they just don't. And this will give me a little support from burning my hands. Um, another tip for care packages is mark your care packages. That way when there's 400 people with boxes in the store or whatever, in the UPS store or whatnot, you can say, hey, look for the tape that has the mustaches on it. That way when they're looking through 400 boxes, they're not searching for your name and address. They're searching for this. And that's a few tips that I um, have for my care packages. I'm sure in a week I'll be able to do my gear list and uh, I'll be able to tell you all about that. I have a few things that are extremely excessive. One big thing there that I can't live without. But I will uh, tell you about that in probably another week. Thanks for listening. I hope this helps.